Hello guys, my name is Bob. Welcome to the Excel Math Channel. Today I'm going to teach you a trick on how to solve the square root of a four digit number. And this is a very common trick around, okay, in the website so you can actually search for it. But I will explain on how to actually solve, you know, a four digit number without using a calculator very fast. Alright, so first thing before we even solve this uh, four digit number or the square root of the four digit numbers we need to basically familiarize with this uh, unit digit table down here so basically this unit digit table tells us the you know the square of a single digit number what is the last digit all right so in this case one square the last digit is one two square the last digit is four three square the last digit is nine four square is 16 so the last digit is six five square is uh, 25 so the last digit is five and so on and so forth and hence, after this, we'll be able to solve, um, try and solve, okay, the square root of a four-digit number. All right, so let me just write down this uh, four-digit number, 4489, okay? And the first step, what you have to do is to split this four-digit into, okay, the first two digit and the last two digit. All right, so in this case, we have 44 and 89, okay? The second step, what you need to do is to focus on this last digit of the four digit numbers. And we tally it with the unit digit table itself to determine the answer of the, okay, you know, the last digit of the answer itself. So in this case, we tally the nines with the right hand side down here. As you can see, we know that there's uh, these two options, which is three and seven, because we know that the last digit of uh, seven square is nine and the last digit of squeeze three square is nine. So we know that the last digit of the answer is either a three or seven. All right. The ne next thing what we need to do is to find out, okay, uh, the square all right if this 44 itself okay if i were to square a single digit okay uh what is this 44 in between all right um it is this 44 is in between in this case we know that it's six square and seven square all right because six square is 36 seven square is 49 so 44 is in between these two numbers and then we will be able to know the first digit of the answer so the first digit of the answer is always the smaller okay out of the you know two all right so in this case the first digit of the answer is six but is it a 63 or 67 all right so which one is correct okay so in order to find out whether is it 63 or 67 the last step we need to do is to multiply all right the six and the seven down here all right so in this case, we multiply the 6 and the 7 down in this uh, equation. So we have 6 and 7 actually, right? We multiply these two together because uh, 44 is in between 6 square and 7 square. So we take 6 and 7 oh, and multiply it together and that will give you 42. And we see whether this number is greater or equals to greater or smaller than uh, this 44. So in this case, my 42 itself is smaller than 44. Okay, hence we will take the bigger um, value of the two options. All right, but if let's say this number itself is greater than 44, all right, which is the first two digit of the four digit number, we will take, okay, 63. But in this case, the answer is 67 because 42 is smaller than 44. So this uh, trick itself actually basically use the idea of uh, completing the squares, all right? And let me just go through again. The first step is to split this uh, four digit number into the first two digit and the last two digit. The second step is to compare this last digit of the four digit number with the unit digit table to determine what is my last digit of the answer itself. So it's either a three or a seven. The next thing we need to identify is, okay, if I were to square, all right, uh, the single digit number itself, what is 44 in between? All right, so the 44 is in between six square and seven square. All right, so after that, we will be able to find out, okay, the first digit of the answer itself, which is always the smallest. In this case, it's six. So now we got two options, 63 and 67. And the last but not least, we, we will need to multiply this two single digit together. And we will need to determine whether or not this is smaller or greater than the 44, which is the first two digit number. So if it is 
smaller than the first two digit or the four digit number so in this case we will always take a bigger option but if it is greater we will take the smaller options all right hope this actually clears out everything there's quite a few steps down here okay and i hope that you guys actually understand pretty much on how to actually work this so we can try out any four digit numbers to find the exact value and hopefully okay it really helps you guys all right i'm bob thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video